Good evening guys, Tony back again, Horin Todge. Hope everyone's well. Thursday evening here in the UK. Um, just got a few arrow packages to show you. Basically got the uh, pre-orders in on Monday, I think it got delivered, or may maybe Sunday. But I've only just got around to doing the video. Been busy this week, but yeah, the, the, these four releases I'm going to show off today came out on the 25th of May, 2020, obviously. So four releases here to show you, and uh, I'll go through what you get and show you the back of them and, you know, reversible artwork like you always do. So four titles from Arrow, um, all look pretty decent films. I'll start off with this one first, a film from 1982 called Blood Tide. I think it's produced and written by Nico Mastrakis. I don't know if he's Greek or what, but... Looks a really 80s. I watched the trailer to this. Looks really 80s cheesy fun. Um, creature feature. Basically, it looks like these... Looks like these guys go to um, this island in Greece and basically awaken a, an ancient like sea monster or something. What I've read of it and what I've seen of the thingy. Who's it star... Uh, James Earl Jones and Jose Ferrer and uh, Lily Kedrova as well. So it's got quite quite a decent cast. So as you're always getting these, you get a booklet and stuff. That's just a postcard what you're always getting them. Uh, there's the booklet. And like I say, it looks a really decent movie. Nice commissioned artwork. I don't know if it's... Uh, it might be Graham Humphreys, but it looks of like that. Not the thickest of book, but it looks really 80s fun, like I say, from 1982. It looks like it's got some virgin sacrifice in it. There's the guy, there's John Cleese, that karate kid. <laughs> Always good to see him in stuff. But yeah, it looks, looks really good. Good fun, like I say, nice little booklet. Nice hot women there. Um, and you get the one Blu-ray disc. And um, reversible artwork is this. Which is the, um, that must be the old title. So there's the back, guys, if you want to read that. There's, if you want to stop there. There's the um, special edition contents. There's the aspect ratio and stuff, 97 minutes long. So um, that's a cool little movie tab from the 80s. Never seen it before. Uh, second one I'm going to show off. It's in everyone sort of picking this one up. Uh, filmed by Lucky McKay, um, an indie movie really, you get two movies on this, Offspring and The Woman, so The Offspring I think is from 2009, The Woman from 2011, the sequels or prequels, and um, really cool indie sort of stuff, real gruesome stuff, um, basically like a, a businessman picks up this tribe like a tribal woman from America and uh, sort of tries to civilise her, but she's a cannibal and stuff. And uh, The Offspring, I think I've seen it, but I can't remember if I have or not, but similar sort of thing, I think. Um, this is a nice package. So you've got Pollyanna McIntosh in The Woman, obviously. She's big. She, uh, Lucky McKay likes her in movies, to be fair. I think she was in the film May as well. But yeah, lovely commissioned artwork again. Here's what you get in it, guys. Let me see if I can... I'll try and get a better view of that for you. So, that's what's on the Offsprings Limited Edition exclusive. There's the woman. A nice, sturdy slip cover. So, it's quite a hefty package, this one. Same on the back. I don't know if you can... Let's see if we can get that. So, you can read it, guys. There we go. So you've got another another chapter to this, which is Darling, which I think they should have put out with it, but they didn't. This is a lot thicker book than Blood Tide. So brilliant artwork again. But if you haven't seen this, guys, definitely I'll give it away in a contest, to be fair, um, because I knew I was getting this one. It's brand new. But look at this, proper gruesome stuff. But indie horror, but done very well. Um, really nice booklet as you can see, and then you get <clears throat> you get the woman there and offspring. 
So really good stuff. Let's see the reverse art. I think the reverse art will be Offspring, which it is. Uh, so this one's more about the um, the Cannibal Tribe and stuff. If I remember right, there's the back again, guys, if you didn't quite catch it. But good artwork again. So that's the Woman and Offspring. Really cool stuff again. Um, next two, this one's a film from last year, 2019. It's called I See You. Really intrigued by this one. And uh, watch the trailer. Uh, it's meant to be a suspenseful horror thriller with lots of twists and turns, apparently. So, really looking forward to this. Watch the trailer. It looks absolutely crazy. So, you've got uh, Alan Hunt, John Tierney, Jordan Lewis in this. Um, nice, sturdy slip cover there. Um, there's the back of it, guys. If you want to read that, I'll show you on the Amory in a minute as well. That's the features. But as you can see up there, it says it's a, a twisty and turny ride. So if you can see that, guys, without my line. Up and coming British director Adam Randall returns with his new twist heavy thriller, I See You, described as the Hollywood Reporter as a finely created exercise in slow burn suspense. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, get a booklet. Definitely watch the trailer for this, guys. It looks really good. That's why I got this. So look at the mask. I don't know if it's the killer wears or what, but this is just cast and crew. Looks pretty, I don't know if it's pretty low budget, the looks of it. it doesn't look like it's got the heftiest budget, but it looks really good. Um, I like these slow burn sort of stuff. And look at that, guys. If that's not creepy, I don't know what is. Not the thickest book, but great stuff. A kid goes missing and a detective tries to find him and lots of twists and turns in the road. So... There's the reversible artwork, guys. Um, there's the other side. So if you want to read that, guys, you can. Special stuff. The making of I See You and that. And there's the aspect ratio and stuff. Another 97-minute long film. Last one from Monday's Arrow video releases is a film from 1984, which I'm I didn't know nothing about. I've never seen it before. And it's called White Fire. Now this looks amazing. I watched the trailer to this. Another one. And uh, <laughs> this looks mental. It's like, um, I'll say a film from 1984. So from the year I was born. And it looks like a um, sort of action. All out action. Sort of sexploitation. A bit of sex in there. And you know, real blood and chainsaws and stuff. So nice slip cover there guys. Not the greatest design, but it's about it's about a diamond, two thousand carat diamond that some smugglers are going. This is a quite a thick cardstock. There we go. So you got uh, Robert Ginte, who's out the Exterminator, and uh, Belinda Main out the Krull. Uh, play Bow and Inga, brother and sister jewel thieves who target legend. Legendary white fire diamond, a priceless rock so hot it actually burns those who try to lay their hands on it. So if you watch the trade to this, guys, it looks really crazy. And it's uh, erotic filmmaker Jean-Marie Palladay. So uh, you got a bit of sexual content in here, a bit of kinkiness. And it looks really gory, real B-movie type. Uh, it's got a real, doesn't look like the highest of budget and it's, you've got, chainsaw wielding and um oh blood everywhere looks really really action-packed so awesome stuff again i love these obscureness they bring out <clears throat> let me show you um I'll, I'll show you some of the stuff and want one disc again so there's the so it's like you know an action adventure sort of you know, there's a chainsaw wielding stuff, Robert Ginty there. Um, yeah, just looks really cool. I'm hoping they've done a 
great stuff for the transfer because the DVD copy, what I saw on YouTube, looked very bad quality. But this looks um, looks like it's been cleaned up fantastic. So really looking forward to this one. Be a cool sort of uh, action stuff. So that's, yeah, white fire. Let's have a look at the reverse art, <laughs> which is amazing. Proper 80s. Look at that. <laughs> what is it? Um, chainsaw Massacre meets, I don't know, Escape to New York or something. It looks mental, doesn't it? But that looks amazing. I like this artwork better than that, so I'll definitely be turning that one. Um, there's all the special content, guys. If you want that, there's the back. There's the aspect ratio. So, yeah, four pickups from the uh, Monday, the 25th of May. And I think it's... That was a really good good week for Arrow pickups for... I know the woman's been put back a few weeks from a different time, but really pleased with those four. Hopefully going to watch them over the weekend, and I'll try and get um, what I've watched recently. I've watched quite a few films. I'll have to tell you about some of them because I want you guys to know um, some obscure movies I've been watching. But, yeah, I hope everyone's well. hope you like the video. Tell me if you've picked them up, guys, or if you've seen any of these. Um, you know what I'm like, I pick the Arrow stuff up and 80s movies. I haven't seen a lot like everyone has, but I'm getting few. I'm getting through quite a few now, so getting my knowledge up. But yeah, all good stuff. Um, I've been Tony, guys. I'll catch you over the weekend. Thanks for watching.